Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna be looking at real guitar, and I'm gonna show you guys how to edit the MIDI loops or create your own. So first off, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go open up a, an, an existing uh, MIDI loop. Okay, so we're gonna go to where real uh, real guitar is, program files. And uh, you got Music Lab. I'll use Real LPC. And you can see I already have a few of my own already. But let's go into their pattern library and let's just pick out uh, basic strumming 4 4 time, 8th, 90 to 250. And we'll just start with S11. Bam. And then LSD is going to show up and just accept. And there you go. So here is the strum pattern. And before I even start, I'm going to go to second pattern and open up Real Guitar, uh, Real LPC. Let's go find. I'll go on chords and I said four, four, eight. Nope. Oh. And this is the first one. So there it is. That's what a Cool. So now we go back and here's that same pattern and we can change that up. We can do stuff like that. And you notice that one's up there. That means it's an upstroke. So what we can do is do down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So um, let's say you want that. Okay. We're going to go to file. We're going to go save or save as okay you're gonna select type as MIDI you're gonna go to your computer locate the LPC or real guitar um, folder or strat and uh, mine is in a separate hard drive so here's real LPC here's my loops and sure you know what let's go back to where we found it and save it there. So we used that one remix. Just so you guys can really see the difference. Save it. Start it. Oh, this is actually a very important part. Looping mode. It says cut remainder, leave remainder, or wrap remainder. Usually, if you haven't touched this, uh, it's set at leave remainder. So what you're going to have to do is put at cut remainder. So there's no leftovers or there are no leftovers whatsoever. So there you go. Have it like that. Hit start. Should finish pretty quick. Let's go and check real LPC. Right, we're in the patterns, and there is my S4 uh, S11 Basic 44 Remix. So now. There's also a whole bunch of other commands that you can find within the uh, um, manual because you can use uh, all all the channels. But um, that's essentially how you do it. And I'll show you guys how to change up the picking one. It's pretty simple. I'm going to go back up. And we're going to go into the picking. Just go into 8th, 9250. And oh, here's one of mine, but let's just choose a basic one. And there is the pattern. You can see it right here. On the very low notes of MIDI. So anyway, you can go ahead and change this up. So let's say maybe you don't like this kind of pattern. Um, you can go ahead and do your own. Maybe you want to do something like that. Or maybe you want to keep it progressive. Or maybe you want to have a whole chord going. Alright, so let's just use that one. Alright, we'll go do that. We're going to hit save. MIDI file. 
go find your uh, real LPC or, or music lab folder loops pattern library going to picking four four eight ninety two fifty and we're gonna we hit the first one and I'm gonna go remix again cut remainder start bam let's go find let's go open up real guitar or real LPC you're gonna go um, into the pattern I'll hit the chords as well I think we did basic picking we did four four eight there you go there's my remix Ooh. so now So that's pretty cool. Check it out. This is what it's doing. Pretty cool. So I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on real LPC, MIDI, looping, creating your own, editing the existing loops. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.